Clip 12, Michael Lyon, longtime esteemed health advocate with the San Francisco Gray Panthers. Michael Lyon presents a brilliant short history of how hard our parents and grandparents fought for Social Security and medical benefits in the United States. So put your hands together for Michael Lyon and listen to what he has to say. A friend of mine that I have worked with just forever, his name is Michael Lyon. He is going to talk to you. Not only is he going to talk to you, but he is going to read you my favorite union song. We have decided never to sing it because I, I don't have the voice and I can't even teach him to do it, but he is going to tell you something that is so important to you today. Come on, Michael. Thank you. Good afternoon. What I'm going to say is pretty obvious, but I think we still need to remember it. The 1935 Social Security Act was drafted in the halls of Congress, and it was signed in the White House. But the real driving force behind it was class struggle in the factories and the streets, thousands of strikes against major industries, fighting off cops and deputies to prevent evictions, did you know that 70% of the attempted evictions in New York City failed in 1932 because we defended against them? Hundreds of marches and riots demanding food and housing, and 20,000 World War I vets marching on Washington demanding their bonuses. And in 1965, when the bosses finally coughed up Medicare and Medicaid that we had been trying for des decades to be passed in Congress, it did pass, but only because workers and students and soldiers were threatening to tear the whole house down. There was a huge strike wave. There were urban rebellions of blacks and Latins in city after city. There were campus rebellions against racism there was a civil rights movement that morphed into black power. There were massive draft refusals, and there was mutiny in the military that ground the Vietnam War to a halt. So all of this overall structure of working people forced these programs into existence. We did it. I think there's another important thing to remember about these programs. They expand or contract depending on our overall strength. When we're strong, they cover more people with better benefits. When we're not strong, they get cut. As Henny's favorite poem says, freedom never came like a bird on the wing never came down like the rain in the spring. Freedom, freedom, what a hard one thing. You've got to work for it, fight for it, day and night for it, and every generation has to fight for it. Every generation. So it's the overall struggle of working people who will keep these programs going once they've been started. I think we're gonna have a bumpy road ahead, no matter who wins this election. I'm not sure. And I think we need to firmly and strongly support all aspects of the class struggle. Strikes, campus protests, fighting against attacks on women, immigrants, and people of color, fighting against U.S. or U.S.-sponsored attacks on our brothers and sisters abroad, and of course, fighting against life-threatening cuts to our food, housing, medical, and income programs. Thank you. Thank you. Please proceed to clip 13. Hallie Hammer leads us in three extremely fun sing-along songs. I guarantee it. 